Do you run an online store with WooCommerce, and want to increase sales and conversions? Want to lower your WooCommerce store's return and refund rate? In this video, I'll share a simple web design tip that you can use, to get more sales from people visiting your store, and also stop people from returning their purchases. When you observe popular e-commerce stores like Amazon, you can see that they have a customer question and answer section, in their individual product pages. In this section, customers can directly ask their doubts about the product, directly from the product page, and get their questions answered. When customers get the answers, they are more willing to make the purchase. When customers make well-informed purchases, they are less likely to regret the purchase, and return the product. So, if you would implement this customer question and answer section, in your WooCommerce store to increase your sales conversion rate, and also reduce the return and refund rate. Since the question and answer section, does not come with WooCommerce by default, you can make use of the Helpy FAQ, WooCommerce product question and answer plugin, to add a question answer section to It also helps to implement Google's question answer schema on your site, which can boost your SEO, and increase visibility to your WooCommerce store. We have provided a link to this plugin in the video description. On this WordPress website, we have set up a WooCommerce store with products. We also have installed and activated the Helpy FAQ plugin. Let's go to the Helpy FAQ plugin settings page, and enable the question and answer section. In the settings page, you could find the question and answer settings tab. Here. You can enable or disable the question and answer tab, on your WooCommerce product pages. Below, you have several setting options, where you can choose to allow, who can add the questions, who can add the answers, and who can upvote the questions. In each of these sections, you can choose who performs the specific action. You could choose, anyone that is, any anonymous person, or logged in users that is, anyone logged into your site, or customers that is. People who were signed in as the customer user role, or admin only that is, only the administrator can perform the action. Spend some time to select who you want to allow to perform these actions, in the Q&A section. If you allow customers to answer the questions, it will increase reliability of the answers to the potential buyers. Then you have the moderation settings for questions and answers. When customers and anonymous visitors post questions and answers, they could be posted directly or do so in moderation which requires your approval to be posted. Choose how the questions and answers moderation works, and then save the Helpy FAQ settings. Now that we have set up the WooCommerce questions and answers section, let's go to the WooCommerce store and see how it looks in the WooCommerce product page. In WooCommerce product page, you can see that a questions and answers tab is added next to the review tab, near the product description and additional information tabs. In the Q&A tab, we can see that several questions and answers are posted with some upvotes. Let's try to post a question and an answer. I'm the admin of the site, so it directly got published. So let's try to post the question and answer, as an anonymous site visitor.
Since we have set up moderation for anonymous visitors, the question and answer that is posted will go to moderation and will require your approval. Let's go to the WooCommerce store's backend and approve these questions and answers. After approving the questions and answers, let's see if they're added to the front-end product page. They are added to the Q&A section. You can also add multiple answers to a question. You could also upvote the questions, and search for the questions and answers that you need. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel to get updates on more videos like this.